In this video we'll be looking at multiplying and dividing with certs. Now there are three main rules that you have to know when it comes to doing this. So when we multiply two certs together, we simply just multiply the numbers inside the roots. Similar for dividing, whenever we've got the division with the two roots, we just divide the two numbers and put it under a root. And if we're multiplying together two of the same number, then the square root actually just gets eliminated. So, using an example to see this, let's take the square root of 9 times by the square root of 9. Now, using our multiplication rules up here, all we have to do is times the numbers together inside the roots, and it will give us our answer. So, 9 times 9 is root 81. But the square root of 81 is actually 9. So, as you can see, these two times together just makes the original number without the root. And this would work for any number. Okay, let's look at some examples. So our first example here, the square root of three times by the square root of seven. So as you can see, three times seven, our final answer is gonna be root 21. Second one, we have the square root of 80 divided by the square root of two. Now again, just by our division rules, 80 divided by two is going to be the square root of 40. Now, a lot of the time you'll be asked to simplify your answer as well. So here, we can actually do that. And again, if you haven't seen my video on simplification, then I recommend you go watching that first, and I'll link it. Um, so the square root of 40, we need to look for the highest square number that goes into 40. In this case, that is 4. And to get 40 from 4, we have to times that by 10. So we know that the square root of 4 makes 2. So our final answer, we write 2 root 10. Okay, slightly harder one this time, and slightly different format. So this is actually the same meaning as just division. So root 75 divided by the square root of 5 squared, but obviously with a fraction, it's just a simpler way of writing it sometimes. So the square root of 75, let's keep that as it is for now. The bottom part, we'll deal with that. So we know... When you square a number, that is just like timesing it by itself. And we know from our third rule that we talked about on the other page, that when we have the same number and we're multiplying their roots, we just eliminate the roots and we're left with the 5. So we know that the square root of 5, all squared, is 5. Now again, just like with most things, we can always simplify it. So the square root of 75, again we need to find the highest square number that goes into it. In this case it would be 25. So we can say the square root of 25 and the square root of 3 because they times together to make 75. And divide that by 5 just like in the original. Now we know the square root of 25 is 5. So we have 5 root 3 divided by 5. Now just like with any fraction, when we have a multiple on the top and bottom, we can just cancel them out. So we can cancel the 5s here leaving us with our final answer of the square root of 3. Just to conclude, these three rules I would recommend you know really, really well, and you should be fine with these. Thank you for watching, and I hope that helps.